When you're preparing for an interview, what questions are you going to most likely face? Well, specifically with networking positions, you are really going to be asked about your vocabulary and the concepts of the things that you learned when you prepared for your certification. So expect to hear questions like, what is OSPF? What is a node? What is a bottleneck? Describe how you would define a problem to a consumer. If you're in a help desk or desktop support position, this is A plus or net plus, even some system admin positions, you're going to need to be able to translate between somebody who has no tech knowledge and somebody who might feel like they have all of the tech knowledge, even if they don't. So you'll need to make sure that you're comfortable with your acronyms, you're comfortable with explaining things in really not so technical of verbiage and how to translate from somebody saying, the whole internet's broken, I can't get online, everything's off, there's no lights, there's no power, just I can't get to Google. Well, if there's no lights and no power, it might not be an internet thing at all. Uh, it might not be plugged in or the battery might be dead. So being able to just describe how you would go through a situation using technical vocabulary as well as non-technical vocabulary. That's really going to be the key of getting through an interview for an A plus, net plus level job. Now, when it comes to security plus, expect a lot more questions in the realm of how do you know when something is happening and what are the appropriate steps of a response? And depending on what type of a position you're in will be the appropriate answer because sometimes it is not in your wheelhouse or not in your authorizations to actually respond with action but you're the person who needs to provide the notification to the next level party so a manager or a supervisor who can then make those calls just like when you're studying for certifications the same thing for your interviews know your vocabulary be confident with it before you go into an interview before you go into the testing room it's the same and be able to describe those things in your own words because that's when you know you're comfortable that's when you know you're confident and that's when you can tell an interviewer that you've seen this before, you've studied this well, you've described it to somebody who doesn't have any technical experience and you can hold your own in a room with people that have more technical experience than you do. Great luck on your upcoming interviews, your amazing career path. And as always, if you need more help, check out videos or reach out to us.